<clears throat> My name's Ashley, and I am a 34-year-old single mom in Fort Worth, Texas. Sorry, I've got allergies going on right now. But I typically don't get involved in discussions like this, but <clears throat> this Bruce Jenner story is going on everywhere. And I listened to most of the interview, and uh, I, I just... I don't know if I'm going to post this or share this or not, but I just got to get it off my chest. First off, God doesn't make mistakes. Okay? He thinks he has a woman's soul. Oh, you know, I've felt like I've had a man's soul before, but I don't want a penis. I don't think God accidentally gave him a penis. You know? I don't think that, and it's not my place to judge, you're right, and I'm not judging, I'm guessing that whenever he gets up to heaven, and God goes, Bruce, and Bruce says, Lord, I'm okay with your mistake, but I took care of it, and there's no hard feelings, okay? I got it fixed, and I don't blame you. You know, it just happened. Mistakes happen. And then God's just going to be cool with that. I don't think that that's going to be like that. Because I don't think God makes mistakes. You know? I think everybody is wired differently. Maybe from upbringing, or life experiences, or whatever. And... You know, it molds us into, you know, different adults. I mean, if everybody was the same, it'd be a real boring world, right? But, you know, they're making all this hullabaloo about it. And now, you know, it just blows my mind, all these people in support of it. And, like, are there no Christians left in the world? I mean, I'm far from perfect. I sin. I sin. But I'm a Christian, and I'm not out airing my sins to the world, and and um, you know, having the world follow me on the sin bandwagon, you know, because now he's endorsing and promoting all of this, um, you know, all these other transsexual people are coming out of the closet, and they want to get it done, and they're. Not afraid to talk and tell now that they are really a woman in a man's body too. God accidentally put a penis on them when he was making them. <sighs> okay, now he, all this is coming up, you know. And everybody's following him. And it's just stupid. It's just stupid, you know. I mean, there's real issues happening in the world, okay. And I'm... You know, it's not like me to even waste three and a half minutes thus far of my life to even discuss this. But I just, I was so irritated with it, I just had to get it off my chest. So, and I, if I do post this and y'all want to give me feedback, argue back with me and stuff, that's, I'm not going to argue back with you. It's not worth my time. I'll be, you know, making cupcakes with my kids or I'll be online working, <clears throat> you know, doing you know, things that matter. You know, instead of obsessing over, you know, Bruce Jenner getting his penis cut off, you know, I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm a single mom, you know, there's times I need a man, I have to be a man sometimes, I have to change my own tire sometimes, you know, I don't mind it, I have to do man things and, you know. I might grunt and uh, make noises like a man when I'm down there doing it and go drink me a beer afterwards. But it doesn't want to make me get a penis built on me. <laughs> you know? I mean, come on. That's my piece. And I know a lot of you are going to disagree with me, but that's my opinion on it. Dude, just be happy with who you are, with how God made you. You know, learn to love yourself for you. Not somebody you think is buried inside of you. Okay? Uh, peace and love to everybody.
talk to you later.